Right, onto this ceiling. Now I've offered up and dry fit the original ceiling here because I'm going to use this as a template. So at the back, if you can look up here, it's absolutely perfect along that line. And I have put some nut rivets in because I'm going to fix this up properly with some proper fixings rather than those little crappy plastic things. So the point of putting it up and checking on the old one is the fact that it's done in two pieces. And as you can see, we've got a join down the middle here. And that join normally is covered with this covered cover strip here, which to be fair, doesn't look too bad, but it's not good enough for what I want. And I am going to do this whole ceiling in one piece. So I need to know the gap that is through here, because when I lay this out on a new piece of plywood, which is six millimeter ply, I need it to be absolutely perfect. And obviously I have changed a few things in here as well, like I've done a bit of carpet in here, I've taken all this out and all the headliner, added insulation, so it's just moved it all just slightly. So when we come to line this up, straight away that's getting tight there. So I'm gonna to have to just scribe a little bit off that as well. And then hopefully we can get this laid out on a piece of ply cut out with a jigsaw and then offer it up and shove it up in one. And that's the plan. Right, I have it laid down on the ply, ready to draw around and then we'll cut it out with a jigsaw. So I'm gonna start with this one first. And if I'm sat on it, it's not gonna go anywhere. And this has to be absolutely cock on. I want it to look really, really neat. And if you notice, I'm just leaving it off the back edge a little bit of the ply here because when you cut with the jigsaw, it's a lot easier to cut within the wood rather than right on an edge of it because the blade wants to sort of uh, pee off sideways. So I need to also mark my holes where I'm fixing it. And I am missing the middle one out there. I'm doing it every two. I was debating whether to put the light back in, which is the original light, which works off the car battery itself. And because I'm gonna use this as a normal van at times, and then sometimes a camper, I thought it was worth keeping it in. So that's gonna go back in, in exactly the same place that it came out. I now need to get the perfect gap here, which to my measurements were 18 millimeters. So we need to get this again, pretty much perfect. 19. I've got to be accurate to half a mil tolerance, eh? <laughs> Jigsaw time. That is looking good. And now all I need to do is just run around with the belt sander just to smooth off all the edges because I am planning on covering this in some fabric. So I don't want it to be sharp because obviously that's gonna wear through the fabric. So. Next up, drilling out all the fixing points. to dry fit. I haven't yet cut this light out purely because I might change my mind in the next five minutes. And also, if I cut that out, it gives a bit of a breaking point. And because I'm gonna be wanging this about in there, I just do not wanna risk it because it is a little bit flimsy and delicate. So anyway, let's get it in.
Well, it's in and it is looking pretty much spot on. If you just look above my head here, we've got this line all the way here, which is absolutely perfect to that back carpeted area. So that's going to look well tidy when that's done. Along the sides, there is going to be a panel that's going to come up and actually touch the top, hopefully. So that's going to sort of neaten all these bits all the way along there. All at the front, everything just fits perfectly. The only thing is there's a few sort of, of these holes, if I can just show you which just need a slight adjustment. So I've just put a little bit of a mark on where I might need to just sort of drill these out slightly just to make the hole a bit more accurate for, for the thread that's sort of set behind it. But overall, I'm well happy with that. So it's just the case of now covering it with some material, get some insulation on the back of it, get it banged up, leave it there forever. Happy days. That is it. I'm just having a minute sat on this insulation, which is honestly brilliant because I've been here for like, yeah, literally a minute and already the heat is just firing back at me and I can really feel how warm it is. So it's got to be fantastic insulating the van with this space quilt with all these different layers of foil. Honestly, I think it's going to be a brilliant product for it. Anyway, this is my plan with this ceiling piece. I've put some of this insulation around the edge, which is that thermoacoustic stuff. So that's, if you can see there, it's just like a probably seven millimeter foam. That's stuck on on the outside. And that is where I am gonna attach it to the van. So obviously my screws or bolts are gonna pull it up and that will just add a bit of a sort of foam cushion. So when I pull it up, it's not just gonna pull through the uh, timber. So hopefully that's gonna help. Then this is going to be the main insulation on the ceiling. So I'm going to lay this out, cut this to fit and seal all the edges with some metal tape. And then I've got a couple of packers to put in the middle of this where you pull it up to the ceiling in the central section. And that's about it really. That is going to be a nice way of insulating this van and keeping it nice and warm for when I'm in there. Now obviously heat rises and you do definitely lose a lot of heat through the roof and you can obviously gain a lot of heat through the roof as well so it will keep it out or in depending on what I am needing. It just takes a bit of time and precision when it comes to these cuts, but I tell you what, if this works, it is going to be awesome. It really is. So there we go. First of all, sealing the edge of the insulation. And then I've got some more tape here. I'm just going to tape it down to the actual board itself. Get in, I am well happy with that. Just rock solid and really, really neatly done all the way around that board. And if I turn it to this side, all I need to do now really is just drill through some of these holes through the insulation at the back, just to make sure that the fixing can go straight through, no problem. I still haven't cut this out yet and it would be difficult to do with a jigsaw now because it would obviously start to snag on the insulation on the other side but I've got another tool that can cut that out so I'm not too worried about that as yet but overall that is just brilliant I am honestly so happy with that I cannot wait to get it in and just see how well it actually works as a way of insulating my van I do have three other things I need to do and that is fit three packers that's the only thing so it'll be cutting a little hole in the insulation gluing a packer on with a hole through it if you can see here, we've got one, two, three holes in the middle, and that is where the fixings are pulling it up towards the center of the roof. And there's a little bit of a curve in it. So the three packers just take that curve out a little bit. So easy enough to do. I'll just cut a hole in the insulation on the side, glue them on, and then, hey presto, there we go. Yes, awesome.
I've made myself three packers out of a bit of wood, which is exactly the right depth that I need, 15 millimeters. And all I need to do now is glue it and drop it in the hole. So I am gonna use some of this, which is just some mitre mate, we'd call it in the trade. Uh, but this is from Evo Stick. It's a two part one. And what we do is we put some of the glue on the back of the wood here. Nice solid coating all the way through. And then with the spray, I'm going to spray the other side, which is the plywood. And we just need to give that a minute to dry off. I've used this glue thousands of times, fitting many a skirting board and architrave in my time. And it definitely bonds well. So I'm going to line these holes up. Press it down for a few seconds. And that should be it, done. So that is the packer in place and already it's pretty solid. Yes, mate. Have a good yeah, have a good weekend, mate, and I'll uh, see you Monday then. Yeah. And I might need a hand of you uh, helping me get this up. <laughs> I'll try and get some fabric on it and get it finished, ready to go. So, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Awesome, mate. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I have now got the ceiling panel complete and I am well happy with it. I just need to now make it look pretty. I did the cutout, which is here for the light. And as you can see, I did it with a jigsaw, drilled four holes in the corner and cut it out. And now I am gonna cover it in some lovely fabric, which I have acquired. I chose this fabric for two reasons. And the first is the fact that I am putting something in the van, which is red. So I needed the fabric to have some red in it. And also that I always wanted to have one of those Canadian lumberjack shirts and I never could justify the spend on it because they were always really, really expensive. So I guess you know what I'm talking about. This is the material. Look at that. It is beautiful. I cannot wait to get this on the ceiling and all I need to do now is cut a piece of this to fit that actual board and then stick it on. As simple as that. So I've cleaned myself a space up. I've got some cardboard and bits lying around just so I can keep the fabric clean because inside a mechanics workshop, it is terribly dirty. So obviously I need to make this show that this is kept really, really clean. And that's it really, simple. Let's do it. Definitely worth having some proper scissors for the job. You can see how dirty it is in here by the footprints that I've left there. And that's on a board which I do need to use. So it's annoyed me a little bit as that, but I'm sure it'll wipe off. Anyway, it is time to get the iron out and give it a good old iron. I've actually flipped it over because I don't think there's an actual first side, but I just feel that the other side was just that little bit better. So I'm gonna iron on the back of it. 
So let's get on with it. Right, let's tell you my plan. I've got it laid out perfectly on this piece of plywood. And if you can see down this edge here, I've lined it all the way down that because then it gives me a fighting chance of having it sort of straight going through the ceiling of the van. And if it's off, it'll probably be quite noticeable. So I'm gonna to have to try be as perfect as possible. So to aid that, what I have done is, if you can see, I've got a central point there. So that will actually be the center of the van and then hopefully on both this side and this side it will fold over exactly the same point all the way down. So if you look at this side here, we've got another pencil mark there and then what I've done is, as you can see on this panel, I've just married it up on that side and that side. So what I need to do is spray glue that spray glue the back of that all applied and then i'm going to have to lift it and literally just slowly drop it down and let it sit onto there and then hope first time it is absolutely perfect because really i don't think there'll be a second time so a bit tricky to do on my own so i think i'm gonna to have to go home and get my old man to help me so yeah that's what i'll do Great. Right. right, I think I'm ready. I've got the spray glue in hand and I'm just going to give it a once over both of them. And then with my dad, we're going to just lower that piece onto that one and hopefully get it perfect first time. But first job, start with this. Right, I'll just give that a minute just to go off and then sandwich time. <laughs> it's a bit nerve wracking because I really do only have one attempt at this. But luckily I've got the help of the old man and he is pretty accurate like I am. So it'll have to do whatever happens anyway. <laughs> uh, we'll have to just stand it. Yeah, go on then. There. So. You line up where you want it to be. Oh, hang on. This could mess it all up. Ah! Oh. Uh, it's just all the flex in it, isn't it? Let's just lift that off again. Oh, hey. Ah, oh, this is tricky. You want to put it down? Yeah, you got it. As we lay it down that way, it's going no, to just... I'm going to have to keep mine higher. Yeah. So that... There's no risk of it touching. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh dear. You just hold everything, the bottom as well as the top. Right, I'm going down. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just double check, because I just want to make sure it's taut. Okay. Right, now walk on it. That is it. Give it a press down. Right. It's not far off of that. Excellent. Right, thank you very much. I've got to now go round and glue this on the back like that. It's pretty easy. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was not easy at all, as you can tell, but it's looking pretty good. I didn't take it up yet. I'm just going to leave it like that. And I think what I might do is, is trim off the edge and then I'm going to do a fold over and just fold it onto the back there. And then hopefully that is it done. A little worry is I'm just turning this over, but the glue has actually soaked through the material. So I wonder if it's actually going to come through and stain it, which would be 
a complete pain. Ah, anyway, it's just one of them things, you've got to try it and hopefully it will work out. Cut all the excess off and now I'm gonna do this fold. I'm obviously on top of this nice sheet of ply here and I need to protect this, so I'm just gonna lift this up gently and pop that under so I can spray glue. And if I put it all the way under like that, when I spray, it's gonna just put a little bit on this edge. So when I move on to the next bit, I won't be putting that onto the material underneath, if that makes sense, because I can just stagger it back. Anyway, we'll soon find out if that works. Give this a wipe. All right, I folded that up and now I'm gonna to have to do some hospital corners. So let's see if I can make this work. And that's pretty neat. Onto this side. This really is the moment of truth then. Let's lift her up and have a look. Well, I'll tell you what, it's perfectly flat onto it. There is not one bump at all, so technique wise, it has worked. The only issue I can see is, there's a few little spray marks. So that's probably where I've been spraying this way and done one half, and then done it from the other side, and where it's overlapped, there's a little bit of sort of glue showing through, which isn't too pretty, I don't like that. But I'll tell you what, overall, I cannot really complain. That is just spot on, it really is good. Right. If I was to do this again, which means it's not perfect, this is what I would do. So looking at it, I am very happy with it, but just to get that final little bit, just to make it better, I think it would have been easier to have three people. And in that center there where we've got the hole, I think if we had some sort of system to hold that with a piece of string, so someone could stand at the side and just sort of almost take the weight of the middle, I think it would have been a lot easier to get it more accurate. At the back here, if you can see, this line just goes perfectly there. So I'm very happy with that. But this is the thing. We've got a tiny little line there, which runs all the way through. And then this one comes and it tapers out just short. So the other one comes to about there. So that's not quite perfect, which, you know, I sort of knew that was going to be the case. But this side, if you can see, we have got a thin line there running through and it actually just splays out just slightly there by a few millimetres. Now what I would have done which would have made this better is actually use the edge of the board and line it perfectly up with this line here, which would have meant that we'd have been starting on a full one. So that is it. That's what I'd have done. I'd have started on a full one. I'd have had three people here, one with a way of holding it up from the middle. And then I think we'd have just got that little bit more accuracy. Anyway, hey ho. We just need to get it in the van now. But I'm waiting on some fixings for that because some of the bolts were slightly too short that I had. So that is for another day. See you in a bit. Right, I'm sat in the van, ready for the big moment, and that is fitting the full ceiling panel all the way through. I think everything is done and sorted. I put an extra little bit of carpet along this line here, just in case there's a bit of a gap, and that will just obviously hide that, just being dark. Um, we've got all the nut rivets in all the way around, which is gonna attach 
the uh, ceiling panel too and I'm going to use these which are if you can see that it's like a little dome head allen key with a, a washer and that's going to obviously pull it up and hold it in place I've got a couple of things to think about one being the existing light which is going to go back in so I can't forget to do that and also I've got a wire here which is going to go in the center which is just going to uh, attach to a light which is going to drop some light down into this sort of area here and apart from that I think we are ready to go obviously I've got all the insulation in everywhere I filled these beams up as well just to sort of uh, stop any cold bridging let's just do it that's it let's do it Well, this is it. We are going to get this panel and we're going to stick it up there. And I'm hoping that my plan works wonderfully well. Obviously, this being fully insulated is going to make a massive difference to the temperature control in the van. And it looks pretty good. We do have a couple of issues because we've got a couple of these glue marks, which are still sort of showing. A little bit annoying, but I can live with that. Shoes off, getting into my nice clean car. And then wrestling time see if I can do this on my own I absolutely love it. I honestly cannot tell you how happy I am with that. It has just turned out better than what I expected. And as soon as I put it up there and sat in here for a minute, it just made the space feel so cozy. And that's exactly what I need. I want it to feel like a little home from home. So yeah, just made up, absolutely made up. It went up fairly easily. Obviously all the fixings, um, I did a dry fit. So they just went straight in, no problem. I have got the light in here as well and the problem with that which Brian pointed out is that it's grey and it doesn't quite suit that so I could potentially pull it out if I can because it's quite a tight fit now and paint it black which would be good and then if I was to do that then I might as well at the same time take that off which again it just sort of stands out a little bit there and could definitely look better in black but yeah if you look at the detail along here we have got this line all the way through and it's absolutely perfect. So three millimeter gap all the way there. And then if we come to this side, let's uh, show you this side right here. If you can see the detail all the way around there, can you see that? Absolutely spot on. And as it meets up with this as well, a perfect line through that. So yeah, just overall, just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, honestly. I, I, it's just this. Yes. Ah, right. I'm out of adjectives now. That's me done. <laughs> ah, I'm just gonna sit here, chill out, just get a feel of what I'm gonna get from this for definite. Mm.